Hi everyone. In this video series, I will tell you about all the functions of Amigo CG one by one. First of all, let's make the new composition because to work on a CG, the most important thing is to create a composition. So let's start to create a new composition. Click on this button here, type its name and save it. So this composition is now saved. So first of all, I will tell you how to add still text and how to give it color. To add text, we will drag the add text button given here downward. So here we see that a text layer has been added to the screen. Now to edit this text, we'll double click on it. On double clicking, the text editor opens. Here we will type our text. From here we can change the font. We can change the font size from here. Whether to make the text bold or recall, underline. This is the color section from here. We will set the color of the text. We can also set gradient color in the text. We can add maximum four colors in the gradient. There is a plus button to add color and a cross button to delete it. Here are some gradient color angles which you can choose as per your need. If you want to rotate the gradient color, you can do it from here. You will set the outline of the text from here. You will set the outline color from here. Here also in outline, you can use gradient color. The process same just like font color. You can change the outline width from here. For that, we just have to click on this up and down arrow. After that, we will save the composition by clicking on this update button. So in this way, you can add multiple layers of text here. Common properties, the first function in common properties is visibility. It is used to hide and visibly selected layer. To hide the layer, the I button is given here. By clicking on it, the layer will be hidden. Next function is alpha background. With this function, we can set the opacity of the layer. To set, select the layer and drag this button from right to left. So we will see that our layer is getting transmitted. We use the color button to give background color to the text. Select the layer and click on the color button. Next function is position and size. In this function, the first given X and the positions. X means horizontally move and uh, we means vertically move position so you have to move the position of the text as much as you want by typing that value here and pressing enter it will take effect on the screen the next option is size using this we can set the size of the text layer layer selected now if the width has to be increased or decreased by setting the value in width here, just press enter, the effect will be visible on the screen. In the same way, we can also set the height. Next function is other, setting the options to be used in this function for the text layer are scale and align. Here are some default scaling options. By changing them, their effect is visible on the screen. We can use whatever we want. Align some default align options are given in align function using which we will set the alignment of the text layer.
Next assumption is in and out effect when the composition loads. What effect will it load with and when it is removed? With what effect will it be unloaded? Both those effects are set here. You have to select the layer and click on the in and out effect given here. The effect you want to select. Click on it here. Next function is in and out delay, in and out effect that we have applied. If we have to set the delay in effect coming in and the going out, then we will set it from here. Set the delay in effects, you can set it in the intro delay. And to set delay in out effect, you can set it in exit delay. Next function is auto blend. We can use this effect to blink the text. After how much time you want to start blinking, you can set the value in the start option. For how long you want to blink, you can set the value in ramp. You can set the value for how long you want to keep the effect on and off. If the effect is to repeat continuously, you can press the repeat button. To rewind the effect again, the rewind button can be used. Next function is effect. The first functions in the effects are speed, x and y speed. If you need to scroll text horizontally, so x speed can be increased or decreased. And if you want to roll vertically, then you can increase or decrease the speed. Next shadow, we can use this function to give shadow to the text layer to set the opacity of the shadow. This button has to be dragged from left to right. Shadow color can be changed with the color button. With the offset X and I feel we can set the shadow position. To blur the shadow, we can use the blur button. The next function is blur. We can use this function to blur the text layer. We are given these options here to set the height and width of the blur. We can set the blur alignment from here. Next function is glow. We can use glow effect to brighten the text layer. These are given by its properties which we can use to set the height and width of the glow and to set its value. Next function is text preset. In text preset, we can save the complete setting of text. After selecting the layer, press the button given on the top right side. So this gets saved as our text preset. How will you use it? You have to hold uh, the text preset and drag it into the screen. All the texts are edited and changed and their color are also changed. In this way we can save the text preset. Now I will tell you about the tools given in the strip on the right side which can be used like this. These two tools given at the top are given to set the scaling of the text layer. The first is fit aspect ratio. 
and the second is exact fit. The scaling settings of the text layer are found in the common properties. Both these settings are commonly used. Hence their direct option is given here. Next tool is duplicate layer. Using this tool we can create a duplicate copy of the layer. Now select the layer and then press this button. So in this way we can create as many duplicate layers of the layer as we want. We can use both these tools to undo and redo. We can use both these tools to change the order of the text layer. In the layer order, use this button to move up one step. And we've used this button to take one step down. We can use both of these tools in order to move the text layer to the front or to the back. To bring it to the front, you will press this button. And to go back, you will use this button. All of these tools can be used to set the alignment of a text layer. First left, second center, third, fourth, top, fifth, middle, sixth. Bottom are the tools to align. Select the layer, press the button wherever you want to align it. It gets aligned. To select all layers at once, hold down the left click of the mouse and drag like this. By doing this, we will see that all our layers have been selected. And we have to select only some selected layers together. Then we will select only those layers with the same method. By using this cross button, we can delay this. Let's select the layers and now press this button. By doing this, our layers have been deleted. So everyone, these were all the functions in the text layer that I have added you. Now you practice these and use them to create a better overlay advertisement. Thank you.